My name is Phil Susan. I'm a bass player, probably best known for my work with Ozzy Osbourne, with Billy Idol, Vince Neil, John Waite, Steve Lukather. I come from a classical background. So as a bass player, I think that what I do relates very strongly to the melody line. Rhythmically, my job is tying together what's going on in the band. I think a sign of great accomplishment as a bass player is knowing exactly where to play those notes. As a bass player, I've got to play a little bit behind the drums, and in doing so, allow the attack of the drums to come through. You need to make sure that you can hear the click of the drum and that the bass note can develop from there. What drew me to bass as an electric instrument, I was trying to get a gig in my school in a band as a guitar player, and every band that was being formed, they already had guitar players, and the follow-up question was, we have a guitar player, but can you play bass? And eventually one day I just said, you know what, yes, I can play bass, and it was just something I became very good at. My first bass rig, I used to play with a childhood guitar player friend. His brother was an electronic tinkerer, a wizard. He was really good at making amplifiers. I mean, I played through some of these amps, and I don't know what they were called, but I remember that I had a 15-inch speaker in a cabinet that I built, and it sounded very deep and very rich. I think back then when I started playing, we didn't have the luxury of lots of great deep bass. So anything that had that low end, I think, was appealing. I was playing in a band and we were opening for Michael Schenker. Something had happened to our truck and the equipment had got stuck on the side of the freeway. So I went to Michael and I said, hey, I don't know if we're going to be able to play. He looked at me and he said, well, why can't you use our equipment? And Chris Glenn had two huge Ampeg rigs, SVTs with classics. And I remember plugging my bass into them and it was a wake up moment. All of a sudden I realized I had it all wrong. There was a particular quality or component of the bass sound that I had completely missed. And I experienced it with Ampeg. So that was my aha moment with Ampeg. And I think it changed my bass playing. For me, Ampeg brings the thunder. And without the thunder, there's no power. I play with some of the most powerful drummers in the world. And believe me, I'm blessed and it's a privilege, but it's a challenge too, Ampeg helps me bring the thunder to that situation. That's what it does for me.